what is up guys what is up welcome back to the channel and today is the anniversary of blessing leash pc and they have launched an event so it's the second anniversary event that they have launched today and what's happening today is daily you get daily reward which is not too bad i must say it's good for the community i mean you get some blessed bread five and superior potential course ticket then each day you get something really i mean the main two is just the regrand squirrels and also the just card that you get which is pretty good costume is always good and then you got your taming reputation gold xp uh exp and pvp exp i mean these were like 50 percent. they could have put that to like 200 percent to make it like a full 100 percent like they'd done before not sure why they haven't done that but yeah that's gonna be what been running throughout this whole this whole event and if we move over to the um, if we move over to the the game itself right once you log in you get a uh, yeah a couple of reward as i was saying like uh well through the maintenance you get the backpack and stuff because um, of the maintenance, it seems like they have delayed it a little bit. So whenever like maintenance delayed or it go on go on for too long, you get a little bit of perk, like a two X backpack ticket. So I get that twice, which is good. You can't complain with a uh, four pack spaces, and that's your daily reward that you get. And then tomorrow you get another daily reward. You get up to like four daily reward as I show you within the patch note which is pretty decent so right so for the event uh you got the event merchant which is these guy that sit on the map which i think this event is pretty pretty good i mean what if i got so i haven't got enough points so i only got like well 1000 1200 this is like a hundred thousand, which is not too bad. Really, it's not too bad to actually get those. The points, I mean, this is one of the br brilliant events that they actually have to get those stuff purchased. And you can purchase those by each of your characters. And why I said like it's it's not too bad in some sense is like, um, so like if you want to farm for like... Uh, for this event you can go anywhere because whatever wherever you go they job they job stuff for you uh you'll find a lot of people in the chisen area so within this area right here you'll find people um farming there people farming there probably one person farming there but these two spots are the hot spot for farming for token but you can farm all around the map it doesn't have to be there See someone here farming here as well, or probably just killing, but one kill, 37 coins. You used to get like one coin, and because they have increased these coins to like every mob, it makes it a lot easier for you to acquire these tokens. Before it was like event monsters that you gotta kill, which wasn't in the game that much. They're so, what you call it? Yeah, they were so like, scarce for you to actually find them in that sense so killing these guys pretty easy 50 kind i mean like i just pick up like almost 70 kinds just now so like we're like 100 kind already see look at that over 100 kind pretty easy to get kind so you can just kill anything if you're low level doesn't matter you just start within this area just kill anything within this area if you're a low level because these guys are quite soft and easy to kill so you can farm within here if you're a bit higher level i mean you can come all the way even down to timeless jungle here so you can run around here and kill a lot of mobs there that's one location you can farm you can come over here where is that my bad where is this jungle place oh here you can farm right here that's a good place to farm as well also over here there's a lot of plant creatures you can round them up you can farm there and 
as you can as well here you can farm a lot there as well you can farm by the Gideon thing right here you can farm the wolves there so there's a lot of farm places you can farm here as well by the bone dragon over here you can come up top and you can also farm here which is those dogs and you can farm here as well which is the crocodile pond so is that yeah that's a crocodile pond so you can farm crocodile pond there you can farm here as well which is the mushrooms uh, this guy's gonna kill me let's get that yeah let's get this guy as well he was just right there but i would say if you farm within this area you're getting prime meat which is good for your it's good for you making like a beef curry which is for crit damage which you can sell on the market as well so that's pretty good to like farm in that area so you're getting two things that is valuable that you can also sell on the market and make some star seeds and that's it to body update guys peace out thank you for watching peace